Metformin is a drug that's taken by millions of people all over the world. In this video, I'll tell you what it is, what it does, and the advantages and disadvantages of taking it. Metformin is an oral medication. That means it's a drug that you take by mouth, and you may know it better by the brand name of glucophage. So how does metformin work? Metformin works primarily in three different ways. First of all, it reduces the absorption of carbohydrate from the intestine when you eat. Second, it stops the liver from breaking down stored glycogen and releasing it into the blood as glucose. Third, it makes the cells of the body more sensitive to insulin so that they respond better when insulin is presented to them. So these three mechanisms work together to make sure that the blood sugar comes down. When is metformin used? Metformin is used sometimes to treat prediabetes, to bring down the blood sugar. Metformin is also used in type 2 diabetes and metformin is used in type 1 diabetes. So just to give you a quick recap of the differences between type 1 and type 2 diabetes. In type 1 diabetes, the pancreas is not producing any insulin. The type 1 diabetic has to inject insulin. Their insulin comes from outside. In type 2 diabetes, especially in the initial phases, there is lots of insulin in circulation. In type 2 diabetes, there is insulin resistance, which means that the cells of the body are not responding properly to the insulin that's already present in circulation. You may have noticed I said that metformin can be used in type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Now the difference here is that in type 1 diabetes, metformin is making the cells more sensitive to the insulin that's being injected into the body from outside. Meanwhile, in type 2 diabetes, metformin is making the cells more sensitive to the insulin that is already present in the body, the one that's been manufactured by the body. How is metformin taken? Metformin is available in 500 milligram, 850 milligram and 1000 milligram tablets. Metformin can be taken up to three times a day, maximum dosage being about 2500 milligrams a day. There's also the extended release version of metformin available, which is taken once a day, usually at night. Metformin is often combined with other drugs to make them more effective. So what should be monitored when you're taking metformin? Of course, the blood sugar has to be monitored. You want to know if the drug that you're taking is having the desired effect. The next thing is the HbA1c. The HbA1c gives you the average blood sugar over approximately three to four months before the test is carried out. There's a link down in the description to another video about the HbA1c, what it is and what it means. Then the kidney function should be monitored when you're taking metformin because people with um, severe kidney damage should not be on metformin. A complete blood count can help to detect anemia, which is common in people who are taking metformin. The B12 and folic acid levels should be monitored as well because taking metformin for a long period of time can actually lead to deficiency of these two nutrients. And there's a video linked in the description that talks all about that and other side effects of using metformin. So what are the advantages of taking metformin? Metformin is probably the most prescribed drug for bringing down blood sugar. The great thing about metformin is that it is affordable. It's also available almost everywhere in the world. You can get your hands on metformin, so it's very, very accessible. Like I said, metformin is an oral medication. That means you take it by mouth. So you don't need needles, you don't need injections. There's no pain involved, which makes it easier to take the medicine when it is required. Metformin does not cause weight gain. There are many diabetic drugs that make you put on weight. People find that when they start metformin, they may even lose some weight as opposed to putting more on. And another good thing about metformin is that it is less likely to cause hypoglycemia, that's very low blood sugar, than a lot of other diabetic medications. So what are the disadvantages of taking metformin? Like any other drug, metformin has side effects. It has a whole host of side effects. And sometimes these side effects are so bad that people actually have to stop taking metformin because they just cannot stand the side effects. And I'll link to a video in the description about how to avoid these common side effects of metformin. 
Another problem with metformin is that if you have severe kidney disease, you should not take metformin. If you're taking metformin, you need to avoid alcohol. The extended release version of metformin can be very expensive, especially compared to the regular version, which is very, very affordable. There are some drugs that you have to be very careful with when you're taking metformin. Not that you can't take them, but you just have to have closer monitoring and to be aware that there is the possibility of developing problems when these two drugs are being used together. Some of these drugs include beta blockers, which are commonly used to treat high blood pressure. Another group of drugs is the drugs like cimetidine and ranitidine. Those have to be used with care if you're taking metformin. And certain antibiotics like cephalexin and the quinolone antibiotics, you have to be careful when you're taking them with metformin. So your doctor will have to take some extra measures to make sure that you're not having adverse side effects.